Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com and in this video we're going to be unboxing all of this Rabbit Star PVC plastic. Unboxing now the Vel Touched Warpack. Love the box art. The box art is fantastic. These two little grooves there lift up on the sides, popping it right off. Tray of Minis number one and this is Tray of Minis number two. In addition to unboxing all these miniatures, I wanted to show you the reaction from my family. I knew it. All these boxes here and you're playing with the bubble wrap. I knew it. And the Veil Touch War Pack, you could store it on the shelf in the box itself. You know, obviously you can put it in your foam or in your carry case or you can put it back in the box. On the back it shows you all the minis that you get. The Veil Touch War Pack is filled to the brim with infantry, making it the perfect entry point to the Rabbit Star line, including Lord Davicus the Afflicted the sinister Lady Maxima, and enough executioners, enforcers, and Valkyr to terrorize a solar system. You can collect these miniatures as is. You can proxy them in other games that you play on the tabletop. Then we got some banners. We've got a Kingslayer in here as well. Vice Lord. In case you haven't noticed, everything comes pre-assembled in the box. Butcher, the massive ax. Got his double swords in the back there. And you got your regular executioners. All of their glorious detail. A number of these in the box. We have an enforcer. Different variations of executioners. Morgan's reaction? He's right in there too. Like he wants all this stuff. Whoa! I mean, I gotta admit, there's a lot of stuff here. There's so many different like kinds. My son Ryan. He couldn't help but dive right in. He immediately claimed a mini for himself. Also, by the way, I'm painting this. I'm painting this. This is my baby. The Asalian Devourer. <gasps> Farah's reaction, my wife, really loved Farah's reaction. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long. <laughs> this is so cool. with the base. Put this together now. She opened up the Devourer and couldn't get enough. She actually tried to assemble it as well. But I'd like to actually see one, like hold it. Oh my gosh. I didn't know there were so many. And we got this weapon mount, which yeah, we're gonna put up there. Absolutely, and we have the head. So let's put the head on. Tell me why you like this one the best. Because I like Gorkogs, my favorite army in Ravage Star. Well, that's ironic, because that's not Gorkog, okay? What? Asalian Devourer. Look at the tail back here. Spiky number one. Mm. Right? That's not a Gorkog. It looks like a Gorkog. If I say it's a Gorkog, then it's a Gorkog. Are you proxying a proxy? And this is the Devourer. This is so awesome. <laughs> yeah. We're so glad it's finally done. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad people will finally have this. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm painting. <laughs> If you run into the scenario where some of the weapons that you get out of the pack are a little bit bent, there is a solution for this. Since it's made out of hard PVC plastic, you're able to heat up some water, place the portion of the mini that is bent, in this case it would be a weapon, leave it in for a few seconds. This will make that portion pliable. Be sure to take care as it's pretty hot to handle. Once you get the weapon in the position you want, blow on it a little bit, wait for it to cool, it'll dry, solid, and rigid. You can do this for any weapon you see fit to adjust, and it's about as simple as that. Got some Veil Scarred Abominations. So, oh, it's right out. We got three different heads. You see the head sculpt, and the weapon up here is different from the other ones. This next one has different cannon on its shoulder and a different head option. And the last one is the same. It's a minigun weapon option with a different head still. So you got variation with these. So we have the Ascended Elite Pack as well with Lord Tyrek. Time for Lord Tyrek. Let's open up this bad boy. He comes with his own blister. He comes right out of here. Like I this thought is... it was Lord Tyrak. It is. You said Lord Tyrek. And there he is. Oh. rick a Is there a difference between it? Yes. I don't know this one. 
Oh, there's three. But you can check right. it out. Dana's sneaky reaction, looking at that face and those eyes. And all the ASMR that's created with all the little tactile touches. Which one? Which one looks fun to you? This one. Yeah. Harold the Struck. Got three in the pack here. Nicaron Kill. Awesome. This is a character based off of Nicola. It's one of the Lazy Squire games dudes. He does all of the awesome stuff behind the scenes. No one ever sees Nicola. When they do, it's going to be in the form of this mini on the tabletop. And then we have uh, Pulsa Pervice and EMR. <laughs> Domineering Warpack. Dang, man. So these are all a cult of the damn 28 millimeter bases human-sized followers. These gals know how to make some heads roll. Each squad's got a leader. You want just a typical hooded cultist shooting at something. Or you can have a cult of the damned without a hood shooting as well. We mustn't forget the melee. I mean, look at this, right? We want some close combat options as well. And yeah, we got some Crazy flame spiky spear weapons, too. This one is definitely going to need some hot water. Ooh. In this half, we also have Davicus the Corrupted and some more cult models. Another Vice Lord here. And we got some Vatra. Those that would fire from the back lines and cause devastation from afar. More leaders of cults. Solian Flamesmith, this dude leads the Batra. Are there any Gorkogs? Because I want Gorkogs. Wow, we just barely got this in off the boat and you want Gorkogs already? That's the second campaign, right? If you want to get your hands on some of these minis, they'll become available in the second Ravage Star campaign, which we're launching this fall. Two new factions that we're launching as well. We got the Amari, which are dwarves in space with all of their armor and weapons and military might and all the stuff that they're doing with the beards and the close combat and all of the awesomeness. Then we have the Gorkog, the species of bugs, the aliens, the squishiness, the sharpy spikiness. I've provided a link below to the second campaign. Follow the campaign before we launch and you get this with your pledge, this free mini. And then, Whoa! Well, this one's cool. Valkyrs. We've got a war maiden in all of her glory. A few Valkyr with guns. Some Valkyr with a sword and pistol. Did I what? Nothing, nothing. nothing. I just nothing? Nothing? No, no, nothing? No, no, I'm gonna back up into. Oh, yeah, you're gonna go on the bubble wrap. What did the bubble wrap ever do to you? Some with a spear. Got a standard bearer here. Then you got another Batman-esque Valkyr pose. And that's what you get in the Valkyr Squad pack. I'm pretending this is Gorkov. This one is the biggest out of the smaller ones. Yep, that's true. Wow, you know, there's actually many people that didn't back this campaign because Gorkogs weren't a thing yet. But now that it is, they can get it. So what do you think about that? Good choice? Yeah. Even though I would choose Veil Touched over Gorkog any day of the week. Don't, don't get me wrong. Oh, what's... Oh, you're gonna get it. There is the sheer force of will wanting this piece of plastic. Well, maybe I take this for myself, huh, Brian? What do you say to that? Why is the Mini Wargaming logo red? Probably for aesthetic purposes, so that it fit the color palette of the box. Oh, okay. Right, so that's my guess. It just looks weird. Let's open up some executioners. Yes, spear, sword, axe, weapon. It's one of my favorite executioners. Then we got this leader of this executioner pack. Got this Witcher-inspired sword-wielding executioner. Single sword here. And a super dynamic 
standard bearer. It's got a spike on the end of that thing, so just watch out. When it runs at you, it's going to impale you with that. Stab me with the arrow, what's going on? I like this one. Yeah? Yeah, I like this one. The armor transfer? Yeah. Let's see about one of these. Oh, yes! Never seen it before. Okay. So this vehicle. You got a weapon, that's not fair. I got a hide. there's another bow and arrow downstairs, right? This feels more like the hard plastic. The weapons come here. And then all of these bits, like this side, can go on here. This side goes on this side. Extra armor paneling and then in the front. You're gonna expect me to run and get that without getting shot in the back by you in the meantime? I don't think so. As soon as I turn my back, <laughs> heck, you're gonna shoot me with looking at me point blank in the face. And look at that, it goes right in there. And rah, 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 rah. These spiky bits, these go on the sides. See how there's three uh, indents and three little grooves there? These spikes go on the sides, kind of lock in there. You can glue them as well. That is where they go. This, you have a couple options here. Cover these windows. You have other weapons you can add to the sides. Oh yeah. Can I see that look in your eye? That look of corn berserking terror? <laughs> I, 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 I. You can take that off and add this to the side too if you want. Depends on the look you're going for. Another weapon option. There it is, there's a vehicle. If you want, you can just uh, put this up there and not have a massive gun. Okay, this one's the biggest. Yeah, it's the thickest, isn't it? Yeah, it's the thickest and tallest. Oh, there's a tank, and there's like tanks and stuff. That's really cool. Armored carnage. This is incredibly exciting because uh, like, wow, so wow. Okay, so you get two VTATs in here with all of their bits and attachments and pieces. Here, let's take a look at that first. Not only do you get two VTATs with all of the different attachments, plus different RAM options, but you do also get these three dudes in the bottom. They're all the same, but you can add them to units. Here we have some Claude Vokavi. These are 40 millimeter base sized minis. You got a black scalpel. These are so epic, I love these ones so much. Each pose is different from each other. Here's another squad with claws and massive guns. Here's another one. These dudes are massive, absolutely massive. There's an incarnate, he's got psychic powers. He can read your thoughts. I am incredibly happy with how these turned out. And soon you'll be able to play and collect them using the Ravage Star tabletop miniature war game rules proper. This is the work of a lot of people. So many people. Right, in the support of the community. This is what we collectively have supported and made physical. Yeah. Like how amazing is that? It's pretty sweet, babe. This is an incredibly fantastic time to be a part of the Wargaming community and to participate in amazing projects like this, driven by your feedback and by what you want to see us make here at Mini Wargaming and in combination with the skill set of Lazy Squire Games and their sculptors and artists and combining everything that we love into an exciting game and range of miniatures. Be sure to follow the campaign page on GameFound for Ravage Star, the miniature tabletop war game. Link has been provided in the description and also pinned in the comments. You do get this free mini provided you follow the campaign before we launch. I never thought the day would come when I'd be smelling my own plastic. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. I'm Mini Wargamer Dave, and this is the PVC miniatures from Ravage Star Armies of the Felt Touched. You don't have Am to- Am I doing it backwards? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was. Yeah, I totally okay, was. You were. <laughs> then what is this? His weapon? Yeah, it goes on his back. Or its weapon? Okay. Yeah. Hmm, does it though? Dennis. That hole does not fit that hole. Round peg, square hole. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> this has to go on first. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Tail? Tail goes on the back. Okay, and this is called uh, a salient devourer. This is amazing. I love seeing you assemble miniatures. I've like literally never done this in my life. That's fun. Yes, that's awesome. Arms? Um, those are tentacles. tentacles. Well, I feel like that's what I mean by arms. Technically, you just assembled that without glue, right? Totally did. How cool is 
that guy. But it's here. But it's here. It's finally People here. People right? are gonna be so excited. Ah. Oh. Bad, Bad aim. Maybe I stand a chance. Bad okay, aim. I'm not Hawkeye, but I'm something. You're something. Do you want a little help loading the uh, bow? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. You'll stop not shooting me. Therefore, you're going to shoot me. I know how your mind plays. Like, see, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, now you're unarmed, and now you're gonna get it. Now the time it takes you to do it. You make it. Oh! <laughs> Hey, do you want this to break? What you gonna do? Can you reach it? Can you, you gotta jump and get it. What you gonna do? I, 